Hello, my name is Igor Kurcho and today I am going to talk about virtual reality, in particular about the fundamentals of virtual reality. Let's take the definition of virtual reality uh, in Wikipedia, for example. Ac according to, to Wikipedia, virtual reality replicates an environment that simulates the physical presence in places in the real or imaginary world allowing users to interact in that world. That's a very interesting definition and uh, um, uh, we have to also understand that virtual reality creates artificial sensory experiences which may include different senses. First of all, sight, second, touch, but also additional senses like uh, hearing and smell. Uh, virtual reality experiences today are rendered on several types of devices from computer screens to virtual reality speakers or headphones for sound but perhaps the most important device for rendering virtual reality experiences is a head mounted display which is a device that is mounted on the head that allows a full immersion from the perception point of view and visual perception point of view for users. But there are also other uh, devices which are used um, also as the input devices. For example, um, wired globes could be used to convey information which is a tactile information, for example, for medical applications, or just typical keyboards and mouses like this one can be used also for interacting with virtual reality systems. The simulated environment can be of two types. can be similar to the real world. For example, if we watch a, a National Geographic documentary in virtual reality, or it can be different from the real world. For example, if we are playing games with the, uh, the many products which are today on the market. Virtual reality can be realized in, in, in different ways. There is a, a simulation-based virtual reality. In this case, uh, for example, uh, driving simulators which are used for developing the car engineering and for safety improvement is the first type. There is an avatar-based virtual reality. In this case, uh, the user is allowed to participate in, uh, in the environment either in real or as avatar. When it's in real, then the background of the source video is eliminated in order to increase the sense of reality and then the shape of the, of the real person could be fully immersed in a, in a virtual environment. There is also a desktop based virtual reality which is simply displaying the content uh, of a 3D world on a computer screen and the typical example is computer games. And then there is the fourth type of virtual reality, which is probably the most interesting, which is the truly immersive virtual reality. And this requires a device, which I mentioned before, which is a head-mounted display that allows head tracking and computer control.